everybody, this is Mike at Absorb Self Reliance. I want to talk to you today about something other, and I'm going to try to make this quick and brief, maybe under five minutes at the most. I get a lot of questions that ask a lot of times, do you think you're some type of survival expert? No, far from it. It's not even what I look for. It's not even what I want to do. Um, the, the thing that intrigues me the most about the outdoors is it's the wildlife, the just the feeling free being out here understanding that this tree right here is nurturing the other trees even though this one is dying it's given the sunlight more room to come in and feed the roots to some of the new smaller saplings that are coming up everything has its place everything is going to be what it has to be out here in nature sometimes it's pretty sometimes it's not but it all takes place just like it does here for us. So to give you a description of what I think, why I do this and where I feel that I'm at, I'll make it easier for you. What I consider myself, the style would be, and not comparing myself to the man or the men, but your long hunters taking enough with you to go out and survive for weeks, months, living it up in the woods. Kephart, um, Nesmic, people that were outdoorsmen, people that come to mind of the things that I've watched and read books and seen and how they lived and what, to not use a cliche term that people use so much of smoothing it or whatever, but that's what I do. I come out here to enjoy myself. I don't have anything to prove to anyone other than the fact that I got here, I ate good, I slept good, I made fire, I went home. That's it. I enjoyed the whole time that I'm out here. Now, not that anybody has done anything to upset me or anything, but I don't have, I'm not a survival expert. Can I make it out here? Yeah, I know several different shelter types to keep me through the night. But sustaining that time, you need tools, whether you have to learn to make those tools. And that's what brings me up to being part of Absorb Self Reliance. You don't just take and say, I'm going to go camp in the woods with the bare necessities and show you that I've done this for a day or two. And I am now survival expert 101 no you want to prove to me that you're somebody just go camping that's all i ask that's all anybody really asks is show me something neat in case that happened prepare for it that's a good thing to do see the word prepare means that you are prepping for something to happen doesn't make you a prepper expert doesn't make you a expert in anything it just prepares you for it to broaden your knowledge to give you more to fight with when the battle comes so all of this is not a a, a, a rant rant but it, it is to sit and say just because people go out and enjoy themselves in the woods and they learn a new bow drill trick or they learn a new spider shelter or they take a freaking rv with them and go camping you know what the rv's heat can go out and it be 25 degrees below zero fahrenheit did they make it through the night did they have enough quilts did they know how to generate heat Every little thing you do, whether it's off out in the middle of this forest that I'm in or whether it's right off out into a state park somewhere, you're preparing for it. So that's what I am. I am a preparer or a person that prepares himself with enjoyable experiences in case something happens. Where we're at with all of this is simple. This is what I do. I come out, whether I'm, like I said, at a state park or whether I'm here out in the middle of the Chattahoochee National Forest. I enjoy myself. I prepare myself for tasks that may arise. And if they never do, thank the Lord. If they do, I'll be more mentally prepared to do those challenges that will be faced upon me. 
but until they are I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm not gonna put myself through any rigorous tortures even though some people may think that last weekend the when I went out in the negative seven degree Fahrenheit temperature that it was torture I went out because I wanted to go camping I was gonna take what mother nature gave me and I was either gonna deal with it or I was gonna go home and as soon as I'd had my fill I went home because I wasn't in a survival situation so that doesn't make me a survival expert. It makes me someone that enjoyed the great outdoors until he was tired of it and went back to civilization. I hope some of you guys get something out of this and keep making videos, keep going out, doing your stuff. Don't let other people try to put you down. This was made because someone had came to me because they said that some people are making fun of them. Let it roll off. Quality entertainment. That's what this brings me out to. Coming out here and enjoying it. Taking care of it. I enjoy this. That's all I am. A outdoorsman. There's outdoor women. There's outdoorsmen. We all enjoy it. So for you guys, go out there, enjoy the peaceful camp, and learn something new every time that you go. Put one little thing into it, whether it's just cracking open a stick and learning how to harden it so that you can use it to cook with. That's one more thing in that long term of death, eventually, that you got to enjoy that maybe someone else didn't and they're jealous. So they make fun of you and call you names. So you guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys on another video and 